Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic of Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot and Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is your April 19, 2017 Daily Money Tarot. Let's get into it with a word of clarity from my own custom Words of Clarity deck. Love Source God, what is the word of clarity that needs to be heard? Psychic, okay. Psychic is the one that we're taking. And so Psychic is saying to me immediately, like you're going to know what to do opportunities, situations, and circumstances in regards to your um, finances today. Um, whatever arrives, you really need to follow your gut instinct and your gut is leading you. So at the same time, if you receive a message to do something different than what you had done in the past, your psychic intuition is on point today. Follow that. It won't steer you anywhere but the right direction now. Card number 40 from our Abraham Law of Attraction deck is saying to you, uh, I can set my own standards for financial well-being. The back of the card reads, once you are able to achieve and consistently maintain your personal alignment, a great deal of money will flow into your experience if that is your desire. Do not let others set the standards about how much money you should have or about what you should do with it, for you are the only one who could ever accurately define that. Come into alignment with who you really are and allow those things to flow into your experience that life has helped you to know that you want. So, uh, whether you choose to have a vast fortune or whether you choose to allow the money to flow in at the rate at which you can actually um, use it and, and circulate it, that's fine. Whatever it is that you have decided is what you're experiencing right now. The most important part for us is to hold our vibration steady in the, in the belief that we're holding about our financial standards and well-being. Um, also, it's that you can adjust these things as you find different needs you 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 adjust them within yourself and it's like a natural thing like for example so you you have a history of a certain financial background and as you mature in different ways you find that your needs change and so your needs are constantly adjusting towards those changes that are within you and the only thing that you need to do is trust in your well-being. Know that things are always coming to you according to your vibration and hold that vibration steady. And that's really a strong message that I'm getting here for you today because with things being um, in flux, shifting with the tower card, things are coming to change. Things are coming in differently now what was is falling apart. Some things are being knocked down to their foundation so that something more true can be brought up. But with the Four of Wands at the base, I'm getting that you're holding a steady vibration for this new beginning. And with the judgment at the head, I'm seeing that the universe is reciprocating back to you and giving you a rebirth of those ideas, supporting the energy that you're holding your vibration about. This is why the certain things that are falling apart in your life right now so the key for you at this point is to try not to get angry about what's falling apart. If you have a situation regarding another individual, regarding some finances, whatever it is that's going on in your life and it feels like it's falling apart, just understand that what is being brought down is expired. And the universe is reciprocating and heralding back to you that which you had called out for which you've been holding your steady vibration about the universe is saying okay here it is here it is here it is and the evidence of the fact is on both sides of this tower we have cards of love we have cards of nurturing we have cards of creation and manifestation with the queen of pentacles she's all about being very proactive in receptive in her physical manifestations. So this is the lady who um, takes care of her home. She receives the finances. She's good at creating opportunities to receive finances. This is somebody, this is about an individual who is able to create 
um, goods and services and, and work and talents that people want to pay for and bringing in by her energy alone those who appreciate what she does. The Empress is all about prosperity, abundance, the having of all things in, and also of love. So this is a very powerful message for you. If you are a, a earth sign Taurus, this is a very strong message for you because you have two Taurus cards here. If you are a, a Libra, there's some Libra energy here as well. But it doesn't matter what sign you are. If the message resonates, it resonates and it's meant for you. So make sure you take your take a minute to check your daily general tarot as well as your daily romance tarot. And your uh, Chinese zodiac tarot is on this channel. Your monthly and mid-month updates are on this channel for you. And if you'd like to commission the channeling of your own custom words of clarity deck they are available for you each one is custom designed and channeled information each card is channeled for you with you as the owner i put your energy and focus and love source god gives me the words that you need to hear in your own deck um so if you like one of those or for information on a personal reading my website has full details available for you here at www dot lphtarot.com that's lphtarot.com as in love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time